Hey, good morning, Facebook. I know that I am late on doing live streams. I understand that. But, I have something I want to talk to you guys about. And that is a new wave of cyberbullying. And it's something I just found out and actually was sadly a victim of last night. And that is through group chats. What's up, David? But... Like I was saying, there is a new wave and a new style of cyberbullying going on that I just not only found out about last night, but the way I found out was by becoming a victim of it last night. And that is through group chats. Because see, I was on one of my other accounts promoting my music and stuff like that. And this really cute girl, you know, she said she was 18, you know, you know, was talking to me and everything and whatnot, you know, everything was all good, you know, everything was great, you know, she asked what I looked like and everything like that, well, I sent her a picture of my face and, you know, what I look like, and, you know, we got to talking, well, I found out that she is not 18, that she is 17. And what she did is she then took my picture, posted it in this group chat that I had no idea was even going on. And then her little friends proceeded to drag me into the group and started bullying me. And every time I would leave, they would drag me back in. I would leave again, they would drag me back in. I would do this over and over and over. Hoping that they would leave me alone. But unfortunately that's not the case. They even got so bad to the point to where. That. They were video calling me. So bad that I could not even switch over to this account. To get away from. It was just a constant thing. And you figure. Somebody of my age who's 26. Shouldn't be going through this crap. But I do. So there is a new wave of cyberbullying out there and it's and it, it's easy to get away with because they know that nobody can report these groups because they know they can get away with it and nobody can report a group chat. Yeah, I honestly feel like Facebook needs to be made aware of this so that you know people don't become victims of it like I have been. Like Facebook needs to make it to where if you're in a group chat and you're seeing something going on, you need to be able to report the group chat. But you can't because that person added you from somebody's friends list and this and that. Well, let me tell you, they already made like three groups and drug me into it and all three times I've left each group and it's honestly getting to the point where do I want to take it to the police yes I do but I can't because of the fact that they probably won't do anything about it but what the police don't understand is that this stuff goes on every day on Facebook and it's gotten increasingly worse And the way they do it is they will drag random people into a group chat and they will proceed to bully them. They'll proceed to put them down, bully them, you know, do whatever they can to tear that particular person down or to make them feel bad. I guess I'm glad that you can report a group 
but they need to make it to where you can report a group chat or a conversation. What up, Sarah? But if you guys want the names of the people that were bullying me, I literally have the list, like, right in front of my freaking face, like, right here. Their names are Adam Hansen, that's A-D-A-M-H-A-N-S-A-N. Kelsey Closter, that's K-E-L, K-E-A-L-S-E-Y, K-L-A-U. S N E R and Jonathan Jester, that's J O N A T H A N J E S T E R. Those are the people that bullied me last night. So if you guys want to look them up and say something, go right ahead. But the thing is, though, how do you report an actual group chat, though? That's my thing. Like, it's not just one person. It's a bunch of people. But, all right, yeah, you can report a conversation, but I found out that you cannot report a group chat. I tried reporting it, and it will not let me. I have tried many a times. And I'll definitely have to do that. But another thing they did too is they constantly freaking called me to where I could, like I said, I couldn't even switch over to this account to escape these people. Because they kept on video calling me and video calling me and video calling me, like literally. I would hang up, like not even a second later, I was just like, bam, hang up, boom, call you back. Like, literally, like, for example, I'm going to act like, I'm going to act like this is what's going on. Like, as you see, I turned it off. And then right off the bat, they did that. Sir, you're going to have to show me how to do that because I'm not sure how to do that. Like, literally, like, let's say this is me leaving the group chat, right? And let's say just now I just left the group chat. It would literally be, I leave the group chat. Not even two seconds, bam, they would call me back. And then, believe it or not, I actually tried that on my end and it didn't work too well. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. I definitely appreciate that. And Gabby, I did try that, but no luck on my end. Well, what I will do is I'll send you guys the names so you guys can also be made aware of these people as well so you guys don't fall for the same trap. Because, like, this shit needs to stop, like... Yes, it's a new wave of bullying people, but it's like, I don't get what these people gain out of that. That's what I don't get. So give me just a minute and I will be posting... I did. Believe it or not, I did block them individually. But yet, somehow or other, they got around that and made it to where I might have them blocked individually. But somehow or other, they're still able to drag me into the group chat. I don't know how. I don't know. I honestly don't even know why. To be honest with you, like, I honestly, I wish I knew how they're getting around all that. 
Like, these people are literally... Like, once I block them... Gabby, it's not that simple. It's not an actual group. It's a group chat where people can add you into a chat. Like, these people literally take... Drag me into a group chat. Like an actual chat. Kind of like what we are now. But like on... You know, Facebook itself. Like, it's a little more complicated than that. And what I'll do is I will actually post... No, they're not hacking. They're somehow they're really using the group chat to avoid, you know, having to deal with me blocking them. But what I'm going to do is right now I am going to post up the names of these people in the comments so you guys can keep an eye out for them. So give me just a minute here. Right? They are annoying. It's like, really? Alright guys, I'm posting the names in the group chat or in the live stream thingy right now in the comments. Alright, there you go, guys. If you guys look down in the comments, I just posted the uh, names of the people to look out for. But I mean, these guys brought me to an all-time low, to be honest with you. Like, they really you know they really did a number on me last night but the point is if you guys see somebody in a group chat or if you're being like you know if you see somebody in a group chat that's being bullied or if even if you're being bullied yourself in that group chat, you need to say something. But like these guys are just evil. One of them, um, Jonathan, actually, he's like, I will follow you and do this and that and da da da. And he's like, I'm the new Hitler. You know, you're not gonna, you know, escape from me. Like, I'll find your other accounts and I'll continue to, you know, do what I'm doing to you. And it's like. Oh, hey, yeah, it's a good thing that you're being straightforward with me because now I know what to do. But, like, why would you do that? Like, I don't get it. Like, it makes no sense to me, like, at all. Like, why would you sit there and... Like, I don't understand why people... You know, especially on Facebook and the internet. Like, why do people feel that they have to do this? It's like, do you guys have nothing better to do with your lives than to bring people down? 
and bash on people like seriously but aside from that um for those of you that don't know who may have not been paying attention to my live streams these last few weeks i do have a new clothing lineup i just started it last week um as a matter of fact i will be posting the link to that in the comments as well so if you guys want to go on there check out the merchandise it's real cheap um the cheapest thing is 24.99 which is the t-shirts. So you guys can go on there and check all that good stuff out. Um, let's see, do I have any new... I'm trying to think, um... I do have some new music coming out real soon. Um, I am looking at a possible record deal, thanks to a really good friend of mine. I'm hoping it goes through. I'm hoping that it's not a fucking joke this time around. But I will be posting the link right now to the shop. So give me just a minute and I will be posting the link to the shop right now. So if you guys do want to go on there, buy some merchandise, you can do that. Um, like I said, the cheapest thing is $24.99 or $25, which is the custom made t-shirts. Um, you do get to, <clears throat> pardon me, you do, you know, get to pick your sizes and whatnot. Like, you have extra small all the way up to 5XL. I'm posting the link to the shop right now. Alright, if you guys check the comments, I just posted the link to the shop. Um, everything in there is custom made too. Like I did everything custom made myself. Like all the artwork that's on the shirts, the hoodies, all that stuff. Um, I did get a little bit of help from a really good friend of mine, who actually is the lead artist, designer for Ubisoft. Um, Danny Poison. He's a really good guy. Um, he's helped you know release games like Assassin's Creed. Tomb Raider, the Splinter Cell series, and, you know, games of that sort. So, like, you know, he's a really nice dude in general, a really good guy. Um, he was nice enough to contribute a few designs that he had in mind that he would have liked to see up. So I automatically was like, dude, like, you freaking rock. Like, you're contributing and putting your name on this on my own stuff so you know that gives me some kind of you know notoriety in the sense of hey you know i got this really famous dude who put his stamp of approval on my clothing line and even contributed some of his own designs to help the shop so thank you danny for helping out dude you freaking rock man like straight up danny like those designs you saw me are freaking amazing. I love them. Um, trying to think what else there is. Um, last night I did release a Linkin Park remix of my own design. And I will actually play that for you guys right now. The beat that I used, I actually made myself in FL Studios 12 Signature Producer Edition. In full, I finally got Producer Edition of FL Studios in full. <laughs> Sorry. 
So if you guys are a fan of Lincoln Park, I'm sure you guys will like this. I want to know what you guys think about this remix. If you know anybody that's looking for a producer, man, let me know. Matter of fact, let me pause this. I do have a few beats that I wound up doing. So let me import one of those tracks. Actually, no, I'll just I'll play one of them for you guys. So you know, like if you guys know, like David, if you do know anybody that is looking for. A producer for hire and let me know because like I'll definitely jump on board and you know do what I can because you know I do do I produce my own music I produce my own beats like here's one that I did last night hold on let's see if it'll play hopefully it does I got that. This one's one of my personal favorites right here. Hopefully it plays. Ah, crap, it won't play. Shit. But I do have... A rock style beat that I think you guys would really like a lot. Let me know what you guys think about this rock track. There's that. Like I've so far, I've got actually a good amount of beats to release. Like here's one right here. Hopefully, this one plays as well. No, I don't. Should 
check this out. I will be uploading the SoundCloud and YouTube. Like, if I can ever get into my SoundCloud, because my computer's being a dick, but, you know, if I can't do that, I'll put them up on um, YouTube. I know, right? It's hard to get people to buy, though. Like, that's the only issue I have, is getting people to either work with me, or buy my stuff. I got that, and I do have this one, which I know you guys are going to like. This one, like, is actually for a game that my good friend Notch is working on. It's more that club level feel. Matter of fact, So I've got quite a few things, you know, that I've done, that I've been working on through, like I said, I do own in full FL Studios Signature Producer Edition. Um, I just gotta go in and grab all the plugins that I feel would be a good asset to what I do. <laughs> like I said, dude, like if you or anybody you know... You